we're gonna wait for a couple to get on so I hope you guys have been enjoying my live thrifting videos and live buy it now sales so I'm gonna try something new I'm going to go into this store that has lots of purses there isn't any jewelry in here but I'm gonna go in this store that has lots of purses and we're gonna to try to do a live in here I don't know if it will work or not so if it's pixelated you guys have to let me know and I will try to answer comments while I'm in here but when I'm in here it'll probably be harder to answer comments and see them all because I will be steadily running through these purses so again this is a Goodwill in Florida that has lots of purses hey Callie hey Eunice so I'm going to put my glasses on. We're going to try to get in here. And I won't be, hey Mama Sheila, I won't be able to answer all of the uh, messages. So forgive me now for that because I'll be steadily looking through these purses. So here's the deal, guys. We're going to go in here. Hey, Jory by Denise. We're going to go in here and we're going to see if this video works. I do pre-recorded videos in the store a lot. But we're going to test this and see if I can do a live in here without it being pixelated. So a lot of these big buildings, and I'm going to I'm gonna get your forgiveness now. This is in t um, Clearwater. So forgive me now if it's pixelated and I have to cut this short. So what we're going to do is we're going to test it. I've never done a live in here. We're going to go in, and again, at the front of the store there are purses. At the back of the store there are purses. And wallets but if it gets pixelated you guys please tell me if it gets pixelated I won't be able to help that but you guys please tell me if it does and if it does I'm just gonna have to cut the video short so again if this video gets pixelated I'm gonna cut it short because there won't be no point in you guys watching a pixelated video but it's super sunny in Florida. I was gonna go to Texas this Friday, Thursday or Friday, but they're gonna have bad weather. So I'm gonna wait till probably Sunday or Monday. But we're gonna go in here and see if we can find any purses for resale. Oh, excuse me. So look at all of that. Oh, that's a beauty. This is not branded. So again, guys, if this video gets pixelated, let me know because I'm going to have to cut, close it out if it does. Because there will be no point and you guys seeing a pixelated video. Look how pretty that is. And I won't see all comments, probably, because I'm going to be looking at all these purses. So hello, everybody. And if I miss a comment, it's not because I'm ignoring you. It's because I am steadily digging for purses. So hit that thumbs up button while you're in here, guys. But again, promise me that you'll let me know if it gets pixelated. So I'm at the front of the store now, and you see all these purses. There's lots and lots of purses in here. And they are, they're just all piled in these bags. Yes, Eunice, uh, Florida has lots of great thrifting stores. I was actually headed to Tampa to the Sunshine Thrift, and I know I can't do lives in there. I know I can't do lives in there, but um, that's where I'm headed. But then I got in here, I passed this store. So I, like I said before, I, if I'm passing a thrift store, I stop. See how these are all stacked in here though? But what I've learned is if you don't dig, if you don't dig, you're gonna miss something. So this is an old coach. This is an old, worn-out coach right there. Look at that. 
I'm telling you, thrifting for resale is work, but it's fun. I'm not even left-handed. But yeah, these, I don't know what makes them decide to put these purses in these bins like this. Well, this is neat. This says genuine leather made in Uruguay. It's a cute bag. Good condition. I don't think I'm going to buy it, though. Yeah. Yeah. I probably wouldn't be able to resell it though, Callie, after that, because I'd, I'd probably be having to carry it, wouldn't I? If I spend that much money on it. This right here, I'm gonna get this one though. Look at this, guys. I don't know if this is real leather or not. This store only has purses. It does not have any jewelry. They put all of their jewelry online. I don't know if this is real leather or not. What do you guys think about this purse? Do you think it's cute? It does because of that heart right there. That reminds you of a Brighton. But look at this. You got it looks like real calf leather. I mean calf hair. You got zebra stripe. This is great condition. I do too. I think this is resellable. So you guys know I do a lot of pre-recorded videos, but I and I hope that you guys enjoy them. And you feel like you're thrifting with me because you are. This is a cutie too. BCBG. This looks vintage, but it's not vintage. It's got a little bit of a rub. But yeah, I hope you guys have fun on the thrifting videos. They just usually always have to be pre-recorded because Ann Klein they usually have to be pre-recorded because it will get pixelated in some stores. So this is a test again. I don't know if it will get pixelated in here or not. Oh, it is. BCBG is. So here's an Ann Klein. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get that BCBG though. This, let's see if this is... That nearly looked like a Brighton, but it's not. So, yeah. I think I'm going to do a jewelry bag. Oh, look at this. I think I'm going to do a jewelry bag unboxing tonight. It's a small bag. never seen one like that you guys want to get to the wall don't you over there see all those purses oh man I'm telling you you can't they're just it's like tangled jewelry sometimes. <laughs> jewelry pirate. Oh, you're so funny. Oh, look at this, guys. Now, this is nice. Look at that. It has little cars on it. This purse is going home with me. So this is, looks like patent leather. Look at all those little cars. I've never seen a purse like this. Let's hope the inside's decent. Hmm. I don't know if I should get this or not. The inside needs to be cleaned a little bit. So here's the brand. I'm going to zoom in on it. Have you guys ever heard of that brand? 
So look at this, it's a little bit dirty inside, but I've never seen anything like this. That's unusual. That's unusual. Here's a purse made of cork. It is called Primeware. You know, I think this is a wine holder. Look at that. That's a cork wine holder. So today is not a busy day in this thrift store. Usually it is packed. Luckily today it is not. Stone Mountain. So I was talking to my friend Tammy in Texas before I came in here and I said I was going to... This is a Susan Gale. Genuine leather, probably 1950s. But I told her I was going to go in and do a pre-recorded video, but instead I decided I would try to test to see if we could do a live and it not be pixelated. So you got sack roots. That's nice to know. It's a little bit dirty on the inside, but maybe it'll be okay. So guys, thanks to y'all, we're on our road to 1,000. We're about, I don't know, 40 from it, I think. Let's look at this. You, know, you guys know that mark right there. Edian Anye. So this is an Edian Anye bag. Look how cute that is. You have the key fob. This is good condition. There's not any staining, not any rubs. I don't know if I'm gonna get it though. I haven't seen one like this before. Now it's all tangled. Haven't seen one like this before. I think I'm gonna pass on it. It's good condition though. So I told you guys, it is a little bit of work to find these purses to bring you guys for sale. Liz Claiborne. Hit that thumbs up button while you're in here, please, and thank you. BOC purse, Vera Bradley. I haven't posted any of those for sale on my eBay yet because they're nice, but I'm not sure that they sell well, so I don't. I haven't posted them, but I guess I'm not going to know unless I post them right. And you guys know Rosetti. Nope, nope, nope. So they usually always have these two bins in here. <laughs> Jewelry pirate. No, it's not because you don't know what's at the bottom of these the bottom of these. Hopefully it's not making you ill, but you never you can't stop digging. You've got to look all the way to the bottom. I have found coaches at the bottom. I've found all kinds of stuff. But yeah, it's time. I want to go to the wall too, but I'm going to for sure look at all this. I don't stop. I keep going and going. Never know, Jewelry Pirate. There's been plenty of times that I found stuff doing like this. Only a few more seconds. So look at this, guys. This is a cute fossil. Look at this. How 
Hey, hello, strangers. Look how cute this fossil is. Isn't that cute? This is great condition. See, jewelry pirate, I told you. I told you. You can't give up too soon. I'm getting that one. I told you, you gotta keep digging. You just never know, and had I stopped, I would not have found that absolutely beautiful fossil. Oh, look at this, this is a vintage Anya. This is a vintage Anya right here. This is leather. I'm not sure if I could clean this up. All right, Joe. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I'm not, I'm not going to get that. I'm going to pass on it. This is a cute purse. This is a new day. I've never bought a new day purse, but look how cute that is. That's bright and summery. I'm going to pass on it, though. Okay, guys, we're going to look at the wall. But again, if it gets pixelated, I'm at the front of the store. Hopefully it does not. But if it does, you guys got to tell me. Because if it does get pixelated, I'm going to have to close it out. But again, this is that big store I did a video on a few days ago that has lots of purses. Now look at this. This is pretty. Look how pretty that is. <clears throat> now I've never had one like this. So that's it. EDN Anya again. See if the inside's good condition. I'm gonna have to think on this one, guys. What do y'all think about it? I'm not sure if it's resellable or not. It's a floral, so it's very floral. I'll give you an up close of it. So hit that thumbs up button, guys. Please like and share my page. Hit that subscription button. Let's get to a thousand today if we can. So here's another Edie and Anya. I do love my handbags. I sure do. I need to start selling more of them on YouTube. Look at that. I've never had an Edie and Anya like that either. This could be. Oh, this is good condition. Wow, look at that, guys. Woven. And I keep having my eye on this bag right here. Look at this one. I do love my handbags and I love my jewelry. This store never has jewelry. Oh wow, look, you have the shoulder strap in here. Now for a non-name brand, Road to 1K guys, we're about 40 from there. For a non-name brand, this is a beautiful bag. Look at how pretty that is. I'm gonna get that one too. Look at this. And I'm trying to keep you guys here at the front of the store as much as possible because back there, there's more purses, but I'm afraid when we get back there, this looks like sack roots. I'm afraid when we get back there, we're gonna have issues. This might be, I don't know, this might be fossil. We're gonna have, oh, it's, oh yeah, yeah. Ooh, dude, look at this. Fossil, fossil. I don't know if it's leather or not. I don't believe so, but look how cute that is. That's going home. This was a good day to go thrifting, for sure. This was a great day to go thrifting, and I'm just glad that the live is going well for you guys. Look how pretty that fossil is. No stains. We might have to have a purse sale tonight. No stains. Great condition on the inside. Guess where that one's going? That's going home with CJ. Look at these bag haul guys. Fossil, cute, cute, cute. Edie and Anya. Man, this is like, this is like, oh, look at this Anne Klein. Now, I don't ever sell Anne Klein. I have one purse of Anne Klein, but look at that. Look how cute that is. I don't know if I'm going to get that or not, though. Let's 
Signature Club, another Edie and Anya. Which one? I like the one with the cars. I do too, and I'm getting that one. So even though the condition inside is not that great, I'm getting it. That's probably a one of a kind for sure. This red bag is pretty. Vera Bradley. Look at that one. Hit that thumbs up, guys. So luckily, if this is not pixelated, I will do more lives in this store with you guys. So this is MC. You guys know MC. They're supposed to be leather in good condition. You know, not good condition, but good good purses. I'll probably get this one too. It's an MC. But yeah, hit that thumbs up button while you're in here. I'm glad that this live video is hopefully coming in clear. Since I know that, when I come thrifting here at this big purse, this is a big purse store. When I come thrifting here, I can bring you guys in here live with me instead of pre-recorded. So this is great condition on the inside. These are usually leather. If you ever see MC, they're usually leather. But I love red purses. So look at that. This is the best fossil ever. It's been folded up, look at that. So hit that thumbs up button guys while you're in here. And let's get to that thousand subscriber mark. This is the car purse from Italy that she's talking about. It's like it's a Volkswagen Beetle. So yeah, I'm headed, where I was headed is to Tampa to go to, oh, look at that, that's a coach, to go to the Thrift Giant. I mean, not Thrift Giant, Thrift Giants, Texas, the Sunshine Thrift. This is an old coach. This to me is just too bad of, you know, it's just not that great of condition, so I'm not going to get that. But yeah, I was headed to go shopping for jewelry, but when I pass this thrift store, I stop. But yes, hello strangers, I love these. This is another MC, but it's got some tear right there. It's a relic. Yeah, that five and five is kind of how I had planned it early on, but that's not, that is not working. The five and five thing, we just have long sales now. We have a little bit of everything. It's kind of a rough looking purse. I 
I think so, Jewelry Pirate. That's what I'm saying. You never know how they... I mean, they color code well in here. But you don't know what you're going to find, whether it's on the wall or in the bins. I'm just glad that this video is not pixelated. Relic. What is this one? Stone Mountain. Well, at the back of the building, there's more purses and wallets. And those wallets at the back are a lot of fun to go through. I still like this one a lot. Hey, Emily. I still like this one a lot, but I'm not going to get it. Here's a Vera Bradley. What do you mean, Nikki? Someone wants to buy something for them. Oh, I don't do that. Yeah, I don't do the personal shopping. Yeah, sorry. I thrift and resell. Sorry about that. Yeah, could you imagine? That would be a lot of work. Now, this is a cute relic bag. Bye, Rasmund. This is a cute bag, but it's messed up. Yeah, I don't do the personal shopping. I thrift and resell. Thrift and resell. So yeah, if you guys are new out here watching, I thrift purses for resale on eBay and YouTube. I also thrift jewelry for resale on YouTube. I have pop-up sales. I have live buy it now pop-up sales. So hit that notification bell if you're new to the channel so that you can be notified, hopefully, of when I have a live pop-up. You don't want to miss it. Okay, guys, that's all of the wall. So now comes the dilemma. And that dilemma is we're going to take you to the back of the store. I do not know if it will work back there or not. This is Ann Klein. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see at the back of the store or not. I can definitely keep it live while I'm back there. But like I said, a lot of times these videos will get pixelated. And if they are, then I don't upload them. Oh, we missed this guess. If they do get pixelated, I don't upload them. Um, but I wanted to test this store to see if you guys could actually see when I'm doing a live. And apparently it is, but I always look at it when I get home too, because I learn from that to, to know if something's pixelated. What do you guys think about this guest purse? Do you think this is resellable? So hit that thumbs up. So do you guys think this is resellable? This is going to be a community decision on this one. Let's see if the inside's clean. There's a little bit of stains. And there's not a price in it, so to me it's, it's not meant to be. So here's what I think I'm going to get. I'm going to pass on this Edian Anye. So we're going to pass on it. So we're going to pass on that Edian Anye right here. Not going to get it. Here's another different Edian Anye. I'm not going to get it. Not getting it. So I'll make some decisions up front, and then I'm going to take you guys to the back of the store where they don't always put their best purses, but I have, that's where I found a Gucci wallet. And that Gucci wallet sold, a coin wallet, it sold on eBay recently, and I had it in one of my videos. I'm definitely getting this one. So this is made in Italy. It's patent leather. Has little, uh, B, um, gosh, you know what they're called. The old 70s bugs. I used to have one. What kind of car was that again? Volkswagen. Volkswagen bug. This is from Italy. This to me is just unique in itself. It's got a little bit of staining on the inside. But I don't care. I'm still going to get it. And this is the brand. 
That's the brand of that one. Yes, little Volkswagen cars. So again, the outside's excellent condition. There's not any staining or rubs on it, so we're getting that one. This is a no-name brand. It reminds me of a Brighton, but it's a no-name. But look at that beauty of all of the croc. And you have the zebra stripe. It feels like real calf hair. This may be real leather. I don't know. I couldn't find a tag on the inside. But it's great condition. So we're going to get that. I may sell it tonight on the live. I got a bag I'm going to open for you guys. But I may put a few of these purses out and try to sell them. We'll see. So we're getting that one. This fossil, I wish it was not. This fossil's perfect condition. This is a cute little black fossil, double handles, a handbag. That's going home with me. This is a no-name brand, but Croc print. So guys, we're on that road to 1,000. I think I'm 40 from it, so. I am rallying to 1,000. The goal is to hit it before the end of the week. Hey, Ninja Mama. So we're gonna get that one. This is MC. You guys have seen MC before probably. This is in great condition. I have one other MC purse that's not posted on eBay yet. So the majority of my purses are on eBay at ebay.com forward slash USR forward slash costume jeweler. This is MC. It's good condition on the inside. There's not any staining on it. So we're getting that one. And then look at this cute fossil right here. So what do we have so far? Three, four, five, and my favorite one, the cars, six. So guys, I'm gonna take you to the back now and we're gonna hope it's not pixelated. If it is, we'll probably just continue running. We'll probably just continue running the video anyway, even if it gets pixelated. But again, this is also a test run to see if I can take you guys shopping live in here versus pre-recorded. So this is a huge store. And luckily it is not busy today. So hopefully this still works for you guys back here because they have all their wallets, all of their purses, knick-knacky, knick whatnotty stuff. So again, if it gets pixelated, we're still gonna just do it. If it gets pixelated, we're still gonna run the video because I'm gonna look at it later when I get home and see what it looks like. So see all these wallets? See all of those? And look here. And they usually have a bin right here. But look at all this. I told you. told you guys this is the super this is chaps ralph lauren i don't buy that but i think that's a great bag but i told you guys i wasn't kidding when i said this was the super purse store the super purse store it's a cute bag This is like a leather journal. Oh, wow. Look how cute that is. It's a solid leather journal. Or you can make it like a, um, you could put old pictures in here and put this on your coffee table. I'm getting that. I like that. I'd probably just put old 1800s photos on it and put it on my, uh-oh guys, this is Anushka. Look at this. I'm super excited. 
I already know what this is. This is a Nushka crossbody bag, guys. Look at that. I can tell you, well, it looks like a Nushka. They usually sign it on the outside. It's not signed, but Anushka hand paints their leather. It's usually signed. This is not signed, but it doesn't matter. It is going home with me. Let's look at that. Yeah, and I'm probably missing messages, guys, so I will just have to check them later. Because right now, when I'm looking at jewelry, it's snakeskin. I mean, when I'm looking at the wallets, it's hard for me to see each message. Trying to look through the messages. So I am going to miss some messages, guys. So this is Swiss. Oh, it is massive. This place is massive for sure, yes. The leather journal, I love it too. I just think you can do something with it. You can make a little scrapbook. I may have to sit down the phone to open this one. Hold on. Oh my gosh, we had a blackout. I had to open this though to see what was in this. I don't know what that is. Still don't know what it is, Vera Bradley. Yeah, the jewelry purse store, I mean the jewelry store that I'm gonna go to next that also has purses. I do know in that store I cannot do a live because it is super pixelated. So luckily, it seems like this is running okay. I just never have done a live in this store. So they don't put their best purses back here, but again, sometimes you find something. Sometimes you don't. Looky there. Yeah, I don't know what you are talking about, Nikki. I'm missing all this. So this is a great fossil bag also. Of course it wouldn't have a price on it, so I'm gonna have to ask them for a price. But I'd love to get this one. I would love to get it if the price is right. Oops, but I don't know if it is or not. But I'm gonna have to ask them. But yeah, we're on that road to 1,000 subscribers, but look at this fossil. There's no price on it. It doesn't matter if it has a key or not to me um, because it's marked inside. Key pier fossil, excellent condition, crossbody. So I don't care if it has a key or not. It's still, still great. I still swear this is Anushka. If it's not, it's very close to it.
This little fossil is small, not in good condition, so not getting it. Oh. Kathy I Van Zeeland. I always want to say Kathy Ireland, but it's not Kathy Ireland. It's always Kathy Van Zeeland. So yeah, you guys are hopefully getting good video. Meaning, not pixelated. I don't think, so I'm not going to get this one. I thought it was cute, but I'm not going to get this one. Oh, no, I don't have any yard sales. If I had a yard sale, the stuff that I have, you know how yard sales are. They want, you can't sell things for what they're really worth. So no, I don't have any yard sales. I just keep it all. But yeah, this is the super huge thrift store that I love to go for purses. This is the same store that has a bins. This is the same store that has bins. These are all their wallets. I have found a coach wallet in here before and a Gucci coin purse. And I recently videoed that Gucci coin purse in one of my videos because it sold on eBay. And I don't know that I'll ever find another one like that. And lesson learned on these bins like this too is the fact that if you don't dig, you could miss something. Oh, do I go to yard sales? I don't because I spend so many much time going to thrift stores that if I did that it would turn into a full-time reseller but I should go but I don't I don't know what this is that's oh, nine west see so yeah, now you guys know you're kind of getting a glimpse now of what I go through as a reseller I mean, most resellers, they dig. You go thrift and dig. This is where I saw that Louis Vuitton that's in a video, and I did not get it. And most people said, that's probably real. In person, it didn't look real to me. In person, it didn't look real to me. Um, so I don't know, but I passed it up, and I probably shouldn't have, but I did. But they do have a bins here. They close at 3. I did try to video in there one day and they told me I couldn't, but um, I'm going to try it again at some point, not today. I'm going to try to do a, like a recorded video in that bins, but in that bins, the first day I went in there, which it's on video, I found a Louis Vuitton and a Fendi purse, and I about fell out, and those sold on eBay quickly overseas. I should have started thrifting videos a long time ago because I would thrift every day in uh, Chicago. Kiss lock purse. Kiss lock coin purse. Well, hmm. Huh. It's a pretty good haul still though, especially on the wall up front. I don't see anything here. Again, they usually have a big bins right there. Oh, here it is. Can I get a price on this? I don't see it, but I got it. It's hanging on the wall over here. Hold on, oh, check. Here it is. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. It's uh, two ninety or three ninety seven. Okay, thank you for finding that. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. You're welcome, Jewelry Pirate. I hope you get well, and I hope this uh, videos bring joy to a lot of people. Um, I know there's a lot of you guys that can't get out for various reasons, whether it's weather or health. 
So hopefully you guys enjoy the videos and the buy it nows. And all that good stuff. So these are the two two other purse bins. Mondani. Seen Mondani before. But yeah, it's a lot of fun to take you guys thrifting with me. I'm glad you enjoy it. That's not a purse, is it? I'm glad you guys enjoy it. What is that? But yeah, we have two more bins here to look through together. So hit that thumbs up button, guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe. So this store is closing in 30 minutes and then I'm going to go to Tampa to the thrift giant oh gosh dang it I keep saying thrift giant it's not thrift giant sunshine thrift thrift giant is Texas but I'm gonna go to the sunshine thrift and try to find purses and jewelry oh look at that Sasha, New York. Guys, you definitely work up a sweat when you're doing this, I promise. I promise. We're going to dig on the other side now, so hang out with me if you'd like. There's no telling what we'll find. This is the way it works for me. I come in and I dig and dig and dig and dig. Hey, Lone Wolf. Let's look at this very old purse. I'm not going to get it, though. Yeah, hit that thumbs up button and let's get to 1,000 subscribers. I'm about 40 away thanks to you guys supporting my channel, watching my videos, coming to the live by now. So I appreciate each and every one of you so much. And again, I do think these videos are great for all types of people, whether you buy, whether you resell, whether you're stuck at home because of weather or health reasons. Hopefully this gets you out of the house in a certain way by thrifting with me. So I appreciate you tolerating all of this digging. So let's see, I'll start digging on this side first. So yeah, you guys have seen that I found some great stuff today on the wall up front. And I will upload this video later. So it'll be marked private when I end it. It'll be marked private until I get home and I can upload it. Because I can't upload it from my phone. If I started to try to do that, it would take forever. So it would take forever to upload it from my phone. So I'm probably going to be out thrifting another hour and a half before I upload this video and again I have a bag of jewelry tonight to open it's a small bag so I might pull some purses together for sale I'm not sure I don't think I'll sell any jewelry tonight like you here guys Needs a little bit of cleaning on the fabric, but look at that. Hmm. And of course, it's another one without a price. 
Hey, purse tripping. This is another one without a price. So I've got all this stuff right here. So I told you, if you don't dig, you may miss something. So that's a great coach there. Dana Buckman, purse tripping. Hello, thank you for that shout out today. You are very kind and gracious for always doing that for me. Any advice via email would always be great. So if you don't mind when you have time, because I know you're super busy, and if you guys don't know Purse Trip, and I can't believe how you wouldn't check her channel out, and any other uh, resellers that are out here, but check her channel out. She buys purses for resale all the time, and she has a great savers store, and I'm super jealous of it. I used to have a savers in Chicago. I used to have a savers in Chicago that I'd go to, but I didn't buy jewelry and purses then. I bought home decor stuff. So if you ever saw my house, I decorate with old pictures. That's a cute backpack. It's not branded. Well, that's cute. Look at that, it has birds on it. Yeah, me too, that's a lot of work, isn't it? I think I'm gonna get this. It's not branded. It's not branded at all, but look how great that is. I'm getting that one. So purse tripping, I'm gonna upload this video later. I found a lot of great things, and I'm gonna show you one of them that I found real quick, because I've gotta ask these people a price on an item. I've gotta ask these people a price on an item. So they close in 30 minutes, and I do not want to leave empty-handed. Man. Uh-oh. Okay. So, look at this purse tripping. So look at that purse tripping. Patent leather has Volkswagens on it. It is, so look at the branding on it. I'll show you the name. It is not, I wish. This is what it is. So it has Volkswagens on it. The inside's a little bit not so clean, but I don't care. I think this is a one of a kind. So this is what I got so far, guys. So I'm gonna give you the recap real quick so I can go check out. We're gonna get this cute backpack here. I got it. You bet I'm gonna get it. You bet. I've gotta check the price on this one. So yeah, guys, hit that thumbs up button for me. Let's see, Alexandra. Looking movable giraffe. So I found this great, oh my gosh, please don't be stuck, there we go. I found this great leather journal. I'm just gonna put, it has old brown paper in it. I'm just gonna put old photos on that and set it on my dining, or not my dining table, my coffee table. So that's not a purse, but it'll make for a cute, um, scrapbook this fossil wallet i mean cross body bag can you find out what a price is for me mm -hmm. are you able to find out what this how much this is oh. or i can ask them at the back oh i'm sorry i didn't see it thank you so much mm. well i guess i don't have to find out the price on that this to me purse tripping looks like anushka but it's not marked Anushka, but this is hand-painted leather crossbody. And you guys know that Anushka will usually write on their Anushka. Looks like the zipper might need a pull, but it doesn't matter, I'm still getting that. That's gotta be saved and resold for sure. This bag right here looks like Brighton, but it's not, but look how cute that is. And I'm sorry if I miss any comments. I'm looking at these purses and the comments are running. So give me a thumbs up, guys. Thumbs up, thumbs up. 
I'm just glad to know that y'all are able to see this video without it being pixelated. So this purse has no brand. So I'm going to get it. No brand, but it's cute. Now, purse tripping, I know you've seen these, and I've got one, but I'm not sure how great. But it's MJ. So I think MJ is usually leather. But that's MJ. But yeah, guys, if you guys are new to my channel, welcome and thank you. Please hit that subscription button so that you know when I post new content. I hit that notification bell, but definitely please subscribe. So this is a fossil. Look at that fossil. So purse tripping will appreciate that. So yeah, now that I know I can take you guys live in here, if it's not pixelated, that's what we'll start doing. Talk to you later, Emily. And then this is one of my favorites too. This is a small fossil handbag. Look how pretty that is. So a small fossil handbag. So I'm glad you guys were able to join me on this little adventure. Now I'm going to go to Tampa to a store that has lots of jewelry and purses. And I'm gonna do a pre-recorded video in there or a recorded video. I'm gonna do a recorded in there because it doesn't, live video does not work in there very well. Video quality has been great the whole time. I'm glad to know that because I've never done a live in here. Y'all wanna look at, y'all wanna look at, well, I don't know if we can look at any knickknacks. If we'll have time, they close in 20 minutes or 30, well, 20 minutes. So all these guys, this is cute, no name backpack. I love this. It's got a little bit of rub there though, but I'll bet it would go. And then this is my favorite, the Volkswagen. The Volkswagen, I don't know how to pronounce the name of the brand, but it's from Italy. So guys, I am gonna let you guys go. Thanks for joining me. Let's rock these numbers to a thousand subscribers. Thank you all new and ones that have been following me from the get go. I appreciate you so much. And we will see you guys tonight for a live unboxing or unbagging of a small quart size bag of jewelry. So bye bye. We'll talk at y'all later. Have a great day.